As a developer, there is nothing more frustrating than a slider that just won't slide on mobile devices. You've put in hours coded meticulously, yet a single unresponsive element threatens to undermine the entire user experience. This is where Swiper.js shines transforming sluggish sliders into smooth, interactive components effortlessly. Hi there, I am Ayazafar, a web developer with a passion for creating dynamic user-friendly web applications. Over the years, I have worked extensively with Angular. In this tutorial, we are diving deep in how you can leverage Swiper.js within Angular 17 projects. Whether you are building a portfolio site, an online store or any web platform that could benefit from sleek interactive sliders, you are in the right place. Let's get started and transform those frustrating sliders into smooth, engaging experiences for your users. Swiper.js is a modern free and open source library designed to empower web developers with the ability to create highly responsive and interactive sliders. It's not just any slider library, Swiper.js stands out for its touch gestures, mouse wheel control and fully customizable components making it go-to solution for a seamless user interface. What makes Swiper.js truly remarkable is its extensive feature set from touch-enabled navigation, smooth transitions and lazy loading images to advanced effects like parallax and virtual slides. Swiper.js brings your content to life. It's fully responsive ensuring your slides look great on any device from desktops to smartphones. The Swiper.js has evolved introducing Swiper element by embracing Swiper element, Angular developers can leverage custom elements to implement Swiper functionalities, tapping into an intuitive API and a range of customization options. Whether you are building a simple image gallery or an intricate collection of dynamic content, Swiper.js and Angular 17 make a powerful duo for interactive web development. Let's kick things off by setting up our Angular 17 project. First, ensure you have the latest version of Angular CLI installed. If you are not up to date, you can install or update it by running ng npm install dash g at angular slash CLI in your terminal or you can watch one of my videos on my YouTube channel. Next, let's create a new Angular project. So open the terminal and type this command ng new project name. Press enter and this will ask you a few questions, answer them and it will install a new project for you. I already have installed it so I will be using that one from here. It is open in my VS code. With our angular project ready, it's time to add swiper to the mix. Open your terminal again and navigate to your projects in the root directory of your project. Open the terminal and run this command npm install swiper press enter. That would install the swiper library in your package.json after installing the swiper there is an important step we need to take to ensure angular recognizes swipers custom elements there is an important step we need to take to ensure angular recognizes swipers custom elements so for that open the main.ts file and on the top we need to import from swiper slash element slash bundle and now here I will import register and rename it as register swiper element. Okay. Now we need to register the swiper custom elements before bootstrapping the Angular application. So here I will call that function. So this code imports register function from swipers bundle package and executes it. By doing this, we are telling Angular about the Swiper custom elements, ensuring they are recognized and properly rendered in our application. It's a crucial step for smooth interaction of Swiper.js in Angular 17 projects. And that's it for the setup. Our Angular project is now ready. Swiper.js is installed and configured to work seamlessly within our application. Next, we will dive into implementing Swiper in our Angular components and exploring the vast possibilities it opens up for interactive web development. Now that our Angular project is set up and Swiper.js is installed, it's time to integrate Swiper into our application. We will start by adding Swiper to one of our Angular components. For this demonstration, let's focus on app.component.ts and its template file app.component.html. First, let's understand with the Angular 17 and the introduction of Swiper element. 
There is no need for traditional imports of Swiper components into our TypeScript file. Instead, we use the Swiper as a custom element directly in our HTML. But to ensure our application can use these custom elements freely, we need to make a small adjustment in our components module or in this case, the component itself since we are working with standalone component. So on the top, after the component import, add comma and import custom elements schema and here i need to add another property schemas and give it an array and pass the custom element schema in that array so by adding custom element schema to our component schema array we are telling angular that this component will use custom elements which in our case are provided by swiper this step is essential to avoid any template parsing errors when angular encounters swipers custom tags with our component ready to accept custom elements, let's add the swiper markup to our app.component.html. So you can just go to their website, click on the docs and here there is swiper elements section. Click on that and you can follow the instruction from here as well. So this is the same thing that we did. We installed the swiper. We registered it. You can use also CDN as well if you want to. So once that is done, you can use this syntax. Okay, so it has a lot of information that you can read. So let's use it. So here I will first of all add swiper container. And here I will pass loop is equal to true and navigation. You can find all of these options from their documentation. These are available there. True. Okay, now we will add the swiper slides. So uh, let me just remove the wrapper for now. Let me remove the parent div. Okay. Now let's test it. Open the browser and here you can see something is visible. Okay. Actually the image is too small. That's why it is looking like that. So let me fix the image. So here let me add 2000 maybe and height can be 1000 or let me make it 3000 and we will do it for all of the images okay all right so you can see that we have images and the slider is working perfectly fine we have the navigation as well that is working and the smooth the slider is very smooth so this code defines a swiper container with the loop attribute set to true enabling infinite loop scrolling the navigation attribute is also set to true which automatically adds navigation arrows to our slider inside the container we add individual swiper slide tags for each slide we want to display so as we saw that when we started our application we saw a fully functional swiper slider on our page complete with touch gestures and smooth transitions between slides it's that simple to integrate swiper into your angular projects thanks to the power of swiper element and there you have it a sleek interactive slider in your angular application with minimal code swipers versatility and ease of integration makes it excellent choice for adding dynamic content sliders to your web project so next we will explore how to customize our swiper slider further enhancing its functionality and appearance so with our swiper slider implemented let's dive into customization swiper is re owned for its flexibility allowing you tailor every aspect of slider to fit your needs we will focus on customizing the number of slides per view enabling loop mode adjusting slide speed and enhancing our slide slider with navigation pagination and lazy loading to begin let's adjust our slider container to display multiple slides at once enable looping and set custom speed for slide transitions so this is how to achieve that directly in your html so here i will add further attributes slides dash per dash per dash view is equal to three okay now there are three items per slide okay and then let's add the speed of 500 so you can customize the speed as well okay you can increase the speed so we have slowed down the speed you can increase the speed by reducing this number like that next i will add pagination here true 
okay you can see that below we have the pagination okay so in this code the slides per view is equal to three tells wiper to display three slides at a time the loop true attribute enables infinite looping so users can swipe continuously the speed 500 attribute adjusts the transition speed between slides to 500 millisecond providing a smooth experience we've also enabled navigation and pagination which automatically adds pagination adds navigation arrows and pagination bullets to our slider now let's enhance our sliders performance with lazy loading this feature is particularly useful for sliders with a lot of images as it loads images on demand reducing the initial load times so let's do that i'm going to remove this and here i with every swiper slide i will add that configuration add space and type lazy is equal to true and another thing that with every image we will add loading is equal to lazy all right now let's quickly test it let me reload it you can see there is a loader when image was being loaded look at that the loader is working so loader appears and the image loads so let me show you actually in the inspect element that will give you better idea so go to the network and here select the image it will show you the images that are being loaded so right now we can see that there are two images loaded okay or maybe one i guess i don't know so yeah maybe these are two so now let's click on the next one okay you can see as soon as i clicked on the next one it loaded the next maybe two images so it will keep loading more and more whenever you click on the next so in this way it is lazily loading the images that will improve the performance so by adding the lazy is equal to true to our swiper slide elements and using the loading is equal to lazy attribute in our images we instruct swiper to only load images as they come into view this not only speeds up the initial initial page load but also conserves the bandwidth for users who might not interact with every slide so customizing swiper in your angular application is straightforward and powerful by tweaking just a few parameters you can significantly enhance the user experience making your sliders more engaging and performance friendly so experiment with different configuration to see what works best for your project so further if you want to play further with it try different examples from provided on their demo page you can just explore them and try different things so these are very interesting examples that you will definitely like so if you want to try them just scroll find whatever you like for example i would like to try this example okay so for that i will click on the element and see if how to do that okay so this is how we will simply be able to do that so simply just copy these options and move back and here i will replace everything with that okay save it now go back to the browser and here you can see the implementation right now the width is too much for all of the images so we can reduce the width for all of these images so that we could easily see that so here i can change it to 300 and change the height to 100 let's test it refresh it uh this is looking strange maybe the width should be less because the actual images are smaller so here i will add style width is equal to 300 pixels okay yes now it is looking much better okay we well, can see that it is working very nice so let's increase the height and width further uh let me set the height to 800 and width to maybe 600 and see uh let's fix this as well okay all right now it is looking much better imagine if you would have to uh, do everything manually with the help of javascript it would take a lot of effort and hard work but with this help with the help of this library it becomes so easy 
And that brings us to the end of our journey through integrating and customizing Swiper JS in Angular applications. We have covered everything from basics of setting up, setting up Swiper in our Angular project to customizing sliders for a better user experience and even delving into some of Swiper's advanced features. But the journey doesn't stop here. The true power of Swiper JS lies in its versatility and endless possibilities it opens up for web development. I encourage you to experiment with Swiper in your own projects, play, play around with its features, customize it to fit your needs and see how it can transform the user experience on your website or applications. If you have found this tutorial helpful, please hit that subscribe button and share your exp experiences or questions in the comments below. Your feedback not only supports the channel but also helps us to create more content that you want to see. Remember this is just one of the many tutorials we have to help you become a more effective developer. Whether you are interested in Angular, Swiper JS, or any other web development topic, we have got something for you. So make sure to check out our other tutorials and don't forget to like this video and click the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. For more tutorials like this, explore our playlist on Angular and web development. And if you have not already, click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.